Welcome to Jesus is Lord Church. We're so excited that you've chosen to worship with us today. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you stop by our Connect station for more information. Powered by the Word of God and shake this nation for Jesus Christ. Join Pastor Kevin McGinnis every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for Empowered Live. For more information, visit www.jilc.org. Are you ready for a little pick-me-up to help you get through your work week? Join us every Thursday for Jesus is Lord midweek service at 7 p.m. For more information, visit us at the Connect Station. There is power in prayer. Make sure to join us on the first Friday of every month for Fire Friday Prayer. Services begin at 8 p.m. Calling all teenagers ages 13 to 19. Are you ready to show the next generation the love of God? Join our Empower Youth Services on the second Friday of every month. Services begin at 7 p.m. Young adults ages 20 to 40, are you committed to creating a culture that connects and cares? Join us for our next Young Adult Night on the third Friday of every month. Services begin at 7 p.m.
joining us for today's broadcast right here at the place where souls of one mercy is extended and miracles happen. I'm Pastor Kevin McGinnis, and I want you to get ready. Today's word is going to bless your life. Help us right now make an impact on the earth that echoes on through eternity. See that little button? Hit it right now. Share so others can experience the love and the power of Jesus Christ. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. faithfulness oh father great is your mercy toward us oh god great is your grace to us oh father we worship you lord we worship you lord we worship you lord we worship you lord come on and worship him in this place come on and praise him in this place for he is worthy of all the glory lord you're so 
so worthy of all the glory, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. We magnify you, we exalt you in this place. Come on, we lifted hands and open hearts. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. There is no fear, cause I believe. There is no doubt, cause I have seen your faithfulness. My fortress, over and over. I have a hope, found in your name. I have a strength.
Can we declare this tonight? I see you move, you move the mountains, and I believe I'll see you do it again. You made a way where there was no way, and I believe I'll see you do it again. I see you move, you move the mountains, and I never forget what you did for us, oh Father. We'll never forget the blood you shed. We'll never forget all those times you brought us through. We'll never forget those times when you healed us, when you picked us up, oh Father, and you turned us around, oh God. We worship you, Lord, for your promise still stands. Your promise still stands. We worship you, Jesus. Come on and lift your voice in this place. For we've come to worship the King tonight. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You've never failed me yet. We worship you, Jesus. For you made a way when there was no way, Jesus. When we didn't know which way to go, you made a way, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Can we worship you? Because you move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because. Can we declare? Cause you move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles, there is nothing 
that's impossible and we're standing here one more time say you move mountains because you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because you made you made a way oh you made a way can we declare that to you You know he's made a way someone lift a praise in his place if you know he's made a way when there was no way we come to give you glory tonight oh god for we lift up your name oh god come on and lift him up hallelujah come on and worship him don't be afraid to shout don't be afraid to praise him don't be afraid to worship him we worship you lord we worship you lord for you made a way jesus you made a way we don't know how you did it, but we're glad you did it, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Come on, don't lose your praise. Come on and shout in this place. Come on and lift your voice. We worship you, Jesus. For we lift up your name, oh, Father. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on and lift him up in this place. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Now I know we all came in here with something that we were heavy burning, laden down with. So we came to give God all the glory. We came to give him all the glory. So I came to give him everything that I have, all the praise that I have. 
We come to shout unto you, oh Father. We come to exalt you. We come to magnify you. We come to shout your name. Come on and lift up a praise in this place. Come on and lift up a praise in this place. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we say this together tonight? Can we say, Jesus, we lift your name. Say, Jesus, we lift your name. Someone clap their hands tonight. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Come on and clap your hands tonight. Come on and shout in this place. We worship you, Jesus. We lift your name, yeah. As we love on you, receive our love, receive our love. And as we shout your name, receive our praises, receive our praise. See, as we love, as we love on you, receive our And as we shout your name, your name, receive our praises, receive our praises, receive our praises. Cause your name is high, your name is high, be glorified. For no other name, no other name, no other name, no other name like yours. Your name is high, your name is high, be glorified. Be glorified. For you are great. You are great. You are great. Greatly to be praised. And we lift your name. We lift your name. Come on and clap your hands tonight. Oh, oh, oh. as we love. As we love. Oh, you. Receive our love. Receive our love. As we shall receive our praises, receive our praise as we love on you, receive our love, receive our love, receive our love, and as we shall, we shall your name. Receive our praises, receive our praises. Say, see your name is high. Your name is high. Be glorified. For no other name, say. No other name, no other name, no other name like yours. Your name is high. Your name is high. Be glorified. Be glorified. For you are great. You are great. Say, you are great. Great needs to be. And we lift your name. We lift your name. Come on and worship him right now. We come to give you glory, Jesus. Somebody shout. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hey. Come on and sing this with us tonight. See your love. Your love is greater than now. No one. No one. Greater. Your strength, Your strength is greater than now. Is greater than I. No one, no one greater. greater. Say your love, Your love is greater than now. Is greater than I. No one, no one greater. greater. Your strength, Your strength is greater than now. Is greater than I. Is greater than now. Is greater than I. Is greater than now. Is greater than I. And there's no one, no one. We 
give you the glory, Jesus. Somebody shout in this place we worship. For your love is greater than ours, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. See, your love is greater than ours. No one greater. Your strength is greater than ours. It's greater than ours. It's greater than ours. And there's no one greater. Give you the glory, Jesus. Someone lift up your voice in this place. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Come on and shout in this place. Come on and shout in this place. If you know that there's nobody greater, hallelujah. Can we stand and give him praise? I said an incredible God deserves incredible praise. Everybody clap your hands and shout with a voice of triumph. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Lift your voice and give him praise with the fruit of your lips. Give him praise. Come on, thank him, bless him, worship him, honor him, magnify him. Come on, you can praise your way out of your problem tonight. I said you can praise your way out of your problem. Your problem may be big, but my God is greater. And nothing is impossible with my God. Can we say amen? amen? Slap somebody a high five and say, God is greater than your trouble. Slap somebody a high five and say, God is greater than your mountain. Stop talking about your trouble. Stop talking about your mountain. And talk to your mountain about your God. Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty praise all over this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and pray in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Come on, everybody. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, shake off that oppression. Shake off the trouble of the day. Shake off every distraction. Put on the praises of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God arise, and his enemies will be scattered. If you just pray in tongues for another 30 seconds, you're going to feel much better than you do right now. I said pray in tongues till the glory comes. Pray in tongues until the strongholds are broken. Pray in tongues until the chains are severed. Hallelujah. 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 Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom the Lord has redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. How many of you are glad you've been redeemed? Shout if you're glad you've been saved. Set free. Delivered by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, it's hard to believe that this year is almost over. The year is almost over, but God's not done working. Lift your hands. I declare in the next 24 days that are remaining in this year that people will experience healing in their body, deliverance from addiction, restoration for their families. I declare that in the next 24 days that God is going to resurrect your dreams, that the enemy is going to pay everything back that he stole from you. I declare in the name of Jesus that by the power of the Holy Ghost that this is going to be a season of the supernatural. Miracles are getting ready to happen. Breakthroughs are getting ready to happen. Somebody open up your mouth and shout a hallelujah. Shout aloud, praise the Lord. You may be seated. As you're seated, turn to somebody and say, it's not over. The year is almost over. But your life is not over. The year, my God, time is flying by. But I believe that God has saved the best 
until now. How many of you know in John chapter number 2, it talks about the wedding feast of Cana of Galilee. And it says, he says that the God has saved the best until last. And I believe that in the last month of this year, that God is getting ready to move in a powerful way in your life. I believe that God has saved the best to last. Can somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. Turn to somebody, God has saved the best to last. I believe with all of my heart that this is going to be a season of miracle power. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter number 2 and verse 9 that our eyes haven't seen and our ears haven't heard. Neither has it entered into our hearts all that God has prepared for them that love him. How many of you believe God has incredible things planned for you? It says in Ephesians 3.20, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can dare ask or think according to his power that is at work within us. So many times when you go through a time of trouble or time of demonic attack, the enemy tries to convince you that your life is over. But I want you to know tonight that this is not going to be your final chapter. And that your life is not over. It is only just beginning. Can somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Paul said in Philippians chapter number 1 and verse 6, to be confident of this very thing, that he that began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. How many of you believe that God is faithful and he will complete everything he has promised you? Let me see your hand if you believe this. You believe that God is true and faithful to his word. Can you say amen? So when the enemy says it's over, this is my subject tonight. It's not over. It's just to be continued. Tell somebody to be continued. It looked like it was over for Jesus. The Bible says that he died. And the Bible says that they took him and they put him in a tomb. But I've learned this. There are three phases to every miracle. There are three phases to every miracle. Number one, death. Number two, burial. Number three, resurrection. They thought it was over, but how many of you know you can't get stuck on Friday because Sunday's coming? Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. I've come to tell you that your life is not over. It has only just begun. Clap your hands and give the Lord praise tonight. Your greatest days are not behind you, but I declare the greatest days of your life are just ahead of you. Can somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. Don't you believe the lies of the enemy that your life is over? It has only just begun. It is not over for you. They thought it was over for Jesus, but on the third day he arose triumphant and victorious over all the power of hell. You need to open up your mouth if you got faith in God tonight and declare the greatest days of my life are just ahead of me. For Proverbs declares in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, but the path, everybody say the path, the path of the uncompromisingly righteous is like the light of dawn that shines more and more, brighter and clearer until it reaches the full strength and glory in the perfect day to be prepared. I've come to tell you that for the righteous and for people that love Jesus and for people of faith, your life is not getting darker. And as you get older, it's not growing dimmer. But the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter. Somebody open up your mouth and shout aloud, hallelujah. Don't live with a defeated mentality. Don't live daily discouraged but live with high expectations. The Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. Can you say amen? Jesus said in Hebrews 13 and 8, talking of Jesus, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. He's not just the God of yesterday. 
He's the God of our today. And he is the God of our tomorrow. Can somebody clap your hands and bless his name? You've got to declare the victory in spite of your pain. You've got to declare the victory in spite of your attack. You've got to declare the victory in spite of what you're walking through. I love what the psalmist said. He said, my tongue, Psalm 45 and 1, is like the pen of a ready writer. In other words, your tongue will write your future. Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. I wish somebody would open up your mouth and declare the victory in spite of your trial, in spite of your circumstance, in spite of your crisis. Declare the victory in Jesus' name tonight. Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. You're about to see what you've been expecting. You're about to see and experience what you've been saying. What you see, you say. What you talk, you walk. Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. I love what Ecclesiastes says. It says in Ecclesiastes 7 and 8, better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Say that with me. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it. Oh, hallelujah. See, people that are bound by pride make excuses. But people that are humble learn to make adjustments. Tell somebody it's not over for you. It's not over for you. It's not over for you. Telling somebody right now that's listening to me, it's not over for you. The psalmist said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor God's seed begging for bread. Somebody shout hallelujah. Isn't that what David said in the 37th Psalm? He said, I've never seen, say that together, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor God's seed begging for bread. Pastor Kevin, I'm going through hell right now. I don't know what to do. Do what you've always done. Seek God. Put him first. And everything will fall into its proper place. Clap your hands and give the Lord praise and glory. How many of you are blessed and highly favored? Clap your hands and shout, I'm blessed and highly favored tonight. In Psalm 41, I love what the psalmist said. He said, by this I know that thou favorest me because my enemies doth not triumph over me. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some of you, the devil's lying to you and telling you your story's going to end in defeat. But your story's not going to end in defeat. Your story's going to end in great glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell somebody your story's going to end in glory. Listen to what it says in the Message Bible of Psalm 34 verse 18. Turn around, tell somebody your story's going to end in glory. Come on, get that sanctifonious look off your face and tell somebody your story's going to end in glory. Psalm 34, 18 of the Message Bible. I'm here to encourage you tonight. That's all I'm here to do. He said, if your heart is broken, you'll find God right there. If you're kicked in the gut, he'll help you catch your breath. Somebody say Amen. I want to tell you tonight that the greatest chapter of your life is about to be written. Somebody say, well, pastor, I had such great days. Let me tell you something. There's no such thing before Christ as glory days. Glory days and now that you're saved. Glory days and now that every one of your sins have been forgiven. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that your future is bright. Your future is not fatal. Your future is blessed. Somebody shout hallelujah. I came to preach faith into your heart tonight. And the way faith comes is by hearing the word of God preach. Can somebody shout aloud hallelujah. I'm here to tell you tonight the enemy is defeated and that you are more than a conqueror. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And I declare that in the next 24 days many of you are going to have a life altering testimony of the hand of God that was displayed and demonstrated in your situation. I want to declare 
prayer to you right now. Those that have faith to receive it, leap out of your seat and shout amen. And those that are watching me on social media, you better get ready. Something's about to happen in the next 24 days that is going to cause your enemies to even apologize for the way they treated you. Somebody open up your mouth and shout aloud, hallelujah. Your history is not going to determine your destiny. Stop looking back. Stop dwelling on the failures and the pain of yesterday. For behold, Isaiah said, stop going over old history, but be alert. I'm about to do something brand new in your life. Can somebody shout hallelujah? I declare over you, over your family, in the next 24 days, you shall receive a miracle. Open up your mouth and scream glory. Many people leave, live as prisoners to their past because they're always dwelling in the past. You are not defined by your past. You are not defined by the mistakes of yesterday. But you need to understand that your history does not dictate or determine your destiny. And your future is not defined by your past. Whatever God spoke to your spirit, whatever promise you've been holding on to, you need to declare it over your life. You need to speak life over death, healing in spite of sickness, prosperity in the midst of lack. That's what faith does, calling those things that be not as though they already exist. You wouldn't be a faith person if you walk around talking about all that you're going through, how hard life is. No, but the Bible says you're to speak those things that are not as though they were. Isn't that what Abraham did? Amen. Calling those things that be not as though they already exist. Our words have creative capability. Our words are the pen that will write our future. Your tongue is the pen that will write the next chapter of your life. Amen. I know people that have saved their entire life, but they've never learned to discipline the tongue. They've never taken control over their emotions. We are not controlled or led by our emotions. We have emotions, but we're not to be controlled or governed or led by our emotions. We are not people that are controlled by our feelings. We are people that are controlled by faith. For the just shall live by his faith. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Feelings will fool you. Emotions will fool you. That's why you can allow the carnal nature, the flesh, the feelings, the emotions to dominate your life. Because if you're led by your feelings and you're controlled by your emotions, you will live defeated every day of your life. But rather you take a person of the spirit to rise up in the faith dimension and begin to declare, I'm healed even when I feel sick. I'm free even though I feel like the enemy has bound me in an area of my life. You need to understand that you are moving into the season right now. Some of you right now have dealt with defeat, you've dealt with attacks, you've dealt with sickness, you've dealt with pain and situation, but I want you to know, for those of you that have not yet seen victory in a situation, I've come to encourage you, do not give up, do not throw in the towel, do not walk away, because I'm here to tell you, you are closer than you've ever been to the greatest testimony of victory in your entire life since you've been serving God. Somebody clap your hands. Throw your hands up and shout aloud, hallelujah. I want you right now from the spirit man, declare victory over your life. Declare victory over your future. Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. Somebody say, well, I can't wait for this year to be over. No, you need to start right now. You need to start declaring victory right now. You need to start planning to prosper right now. Tell somebody, start now. Well, I'm, I'm going to make a New Year's resolution. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to go to the gym. No, why are you waiting? Start right now. There's no better time than right now to believe and declare the word of God. Can somebody shout aloud? Hallelujah. Come on, tell somebody. The 
the power of right now. Somebody shall praise the Lord. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're guaranteed the breath that you're taking right now. I want to know how many of you will believe right now with me for a miracle in your life. Somebody shall right now. Start now. Get a business plan. Start now. Get the manuscript out. Start now. Planning to prosper. Because if you don't believe now, you will not believe January 1. You've got to have faith that this is going to be the greatest season of your life. Everybody that believes it, help me celebrate. You haven't even begun to see God's best yet. You haven't even seen the best days yet. Amen. Well, I can't believe that. That's why you're defeated. The Bible says it gets better and better. It gets brighter and brighter. Somebody shout amen. God's word cannot fail. Situations can fail. People's promises will disappoint you. But God's word cannot return void. It's that simple. It's that simple. God's word cannot fail you. God's word comes back for the purpose for which it was sent. Somebody shout amen. amen. Let the sick declare I am healed. Let the broke say I'm blessed. Somebody shout amen. amen. Well, pastor, I'm bound by fear. Well, the Bible says that fear is the spirit. Fear should not dominate your life. The word of God should dominate your life. Fear should not dominate your life. The promises of God should dominate your life. I believe that book. I believe that word. I know so many people, so many Christians, they write me every week online. Well, I believe this, and I've stood on this, and it hasn't worked. When you say something like that, it tells me you already had an element of doubt in your life. Because people that are full of faith do not say, I tried God, and it didn't work. God never fails his people. God never failed you. You wouldn't be here tonight if God did not come through for you. You'd still be in prison. You'd still be an addict. You'd still be lost in sin. But thank God, Jesus has set you free. Somebody get on your feet and give God praise for your freedom tonight. Never ever learn to live without God's best. Well, I'll just settle. That's not faith. I'm just going to settle for this. Never settle. Never settle. Well, I'm getting older now. Still dealing with this difficulty in my life. Still don't have a healthy relationship. Marriage is still in trouble. Never settle. Never accept what the enemy sends. Amen. Believe God for the best. I want to believe for every one of you as we get ready in January for 21 days of prayer and fasting. We are going to see every generational curse broken over the families of this church. It's not a dysfunctional family. You have a cursed family. If everybody in your family is a drug addict or was a drug, drug addict, that's not dysfunction, that's a curse. God wants everybody free. For freedom, Christ has set us free. I declare right now, I feel this in my spirit, that people right now that are dealing with infirmity and sickness in your body, I'm here to tell you, by the dawning of a new year, you will be completely healed from all infirmity. Now, I choose to believe that. I choose life. How about will you choose life with me? Clap your hands and give God praise together as God heals completely our brothers and sisters in the house of God. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Open up your mouth and give God praise. I love what the psalmist said in Psalm 119. I'm almost finished. He said in Psalm 119 of the 114th verse and through 117, the psalmist said, you are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of hope. 
Get out of my life, you evil-minded people. For I intend to obey the commands of my God. Lord, sustain me. Raise your hand. Say, God, sustain me. Say, sustain me as you promised. Lift your hands, everybody. Say, sustain me as you promised that I may live. This is what God's doing for every one of us that have faith in his word. He's going to sustain you, and you're going to live. For do not let my hope be crushed. Sustain me, and I'll be rescued. Then I'll meditate. I'll meditate continually on CNN. I'll meditate continually on Fox News. No. I'll meditate continually on your decrees. you got a plan to prosper. It's not over. It's to be continued. Your dream is not dead. It's going to be resurrected. Your family is not lost. They're going to be saved by the power of God. You're not destined to live the rest of your days in frustration of lack and poverty. For every chain shall be broken. For the Lord, lift your hands, is about to send prosperity to his people. Raise your hands and shout amen. For the Lord says above, above all things, uh, it is my will that you prosper and be in health. Even as your soul begins to prosper. Lift your hands and claim it right now by faith. I am healed. I am healthy. I am blessed. I'm not a victim anymore. I am victorious in every circumstance. I got victory in my mind. I got victory in my home. I got victory over addiction. I got victory over my emotions. I got victory over my feelings. I got victory over fear. Somebody lift your voice and declare by his stripes, I am healed. Somebody's organ is being healed right now. Somebody's bladder is being healed. Somebody's colon is being healed. Somebody's prostate is being healed. Somebody's lung is being healed. If I was you, I leap out of your chair and praise them on a whole nother dimension. If I was you, I'd shout in spite of how you feel. You may have had a hard day, but the miracle is worth the wait. Jump up and give God a shout in the house right now. Lift your hands and declare victory. Declare victory over your situation. Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. Listen to what it says in Deuteronomy chapter 8. You may be seated. Deuteronomy chapter number 8. For the Lord your God gives you power to be successful. Tell somebody, the Lord your God gives you the power to be successful. I got good news for you tonight. How many of you are 50 years of age and older? Stand. How many of you in your teenage years stand? Everybody stand. I got good news. There's no age limit with God. You can be blessed right now and enjoy success. Somebody shout hallelujah. God can prosper you at the beginning of your life, in the middle of your life, and at the end of your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. I told you the end of a thing is better than the beginning. Your life is not going to end in defeat. Your life is going to end in your story and glory. Somebody shout aloud hallelujah. If I was you, I'd put a smile on your face and give God some powerful praise right now. To be continued. It's never too late for God. It's never too late for God. Lazarus died. It's never too late for God. His flesh was rotting. The Bible says by now he stinks. It's never too late for God. Moses, a murderer. God raised him up in a miraculous way to deliver the Hebrew slaves. Jacob, a liar, a deceiver, a trickster. God miraculously raised him up 
to fulfill his promise to Abraham. Even a whore, a prostitute by the name of Rahab, a harlot. God turned it around and made her part of the Messianic family line. And if God can redeem them, he can redeem you too. I don't care how big your sin is. The blood of Jesus is more powerful than your sin. I don't care how big your problem is. There's not one problem too big that my God cannot solve. Somebody open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. He's more powerful than cancer. He's more powerful than diabetes. He's more powerful than hepatitis. He's more power than liver failure. He's more power than drug addiction. He has all power in his hand. And when he lays his hand on you, everything that binds you must be broken in the power and in the name of Jesus. Can somebody shout aloud hallelujah right now? now. Open up your mouth and shout praise the Lord. God shall restore everything that's been stolen. How many of you have dreams? How many of you have dreams that seem like they've died? God can resurrect broken dreams. Somebody said, Pastor, there's no hope. Don't you listen to the enemy concerning your future and your prophecy? Don't listen to the devil. Don't allow him to convince you to bury your dreams. Don't believe for a funeral when you can have a resurrection. God can turn anything around. I said, God can turn everything around. How many of you need to turn around in a circumstance? Lift your hands. Turn around. You need to turn around. Let me see your hand if you need God to turn something around. Well, I'm not just going to ask you to put up your hand. I'm going to lay hands on you. And it's going to turn around. Somebody shout hallelujah. God has the final say. Your latter days, the Bible says, will be greater than your former days. Get in agreement with God. Go back to the place where you could quit believing like Lazarus and roll the stone away. Who told you your life was over? God would never tell you your life is over. The devil would tell you your life is over. I want to preach faith to you tonight. I want to declare over you and over your family that the worst is over and the best is yet to come. And if I was you, I would turn around and tell somebody congratulations because you just survived the worst season of your life. Now you're getting ready to move into the greatest chapter. You're stepping into the greatest season now. I'm here to tell you that God is about to give you a miracle, a miracle in your family, a miracle in in your health, a miracle in your mind, a miracle in your children's life. Some of you got grandchildren. Every one of them are lost. They're away from God. But I want to agree with you tonight that God is going to break the curse. God is going to open their heart. They shall be saved. They shall be delivered. They shall be free. Your body shall be made whole. Give the Lord a mighty shout of praise. Stand to your feet and shout praises to your God. Hey! Shout 
Shake off that discouragement. Shake off that doubt and unbelief. Shake off that failure. Somebody shout hallelujah. God is not a God of second chances. He's a God of many chances. And if you're still breathing, God has a plan. And God has a future for you. And you will see the dream come true. And you will see the word God spoke to you fulfilled. Open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. I declare it's not over. It's to be continued. It's the dawning of a new day. Weeping indoors for the night. But joy comes in the morning. And this is the day that the Lord has made. I don't know about you. I want every man to shout. Every woman to shout. And be glad in it. It's not over. It's coming back to life. The dream's coming back to life. The business is coming back to life. Your marriage is coming back to life. Your children that are lost in sin and dead, the Bible says, are coming back to life. Somebody erupt with a shout of praise of the house of God. Now, it's good. It's good that I declare it. It's good that I preach it. Stand on your feet. Stand up. It's good that I preach it. It's good that you believe it. But you know what's more powerful? When you speak it. It's important that you hear me preach. But I want to hear you preach. Speak it. What do you need? What do you need? What do you believe in God for? What are you standing in faith in this season of your life for? Speak it. Speak it. What are you waiting for? Speak it. Speak it. Let me hear you. Come on, talk to me. The Bible says the way of the sinner is hard, not the righteous. The way of the transgressor, the Bible says, is hard. God doesn't put burdens on people that are unable for you to bear. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I want you to declare victory over your life right now. Go ahead. Close your eyes. Get out of the flesh. Get in the spirit for five minutes. Declare victory over your situation. Forget about what your mind is saying. Forget about what your body is saying. Forget about what your bank account is saying. Speak victory over your life right now. This is what midweek is all about. You come and you're empowered by the word of God. You come and your faith is recharged. You come and your spirit is refreshed. You, come on, somebody. Somebody's leaving with a miracle. Somebody's leaving with a breakthrough. Somebody's going to be beyond blessed in this season. I'm here to tell you that by 2023, you will have the miracle in your hand. By 2023, you will see family members that have been away from God for decades saved and sanctified and on fire again in the house of God. Open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. You need to shout it's to be continued because some of you believe that it was over, but it's not over. It's to be continued. Can somebody shout aloud hallelujah? The book is not finished because he's the author and the finisher of your faith. You're about to see the next chapter written. You're about to see that dream God spoke to you 30 years ago come to pass. The devil told you it was over, but it's for this season. God has saved the best until now. Somebody open up your mouth in spite of your feelings and give God the highest praise of the evening now. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm telling you, if you will praise him, you will feel better. If you praise him on another level, you'll go to another level. Because when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Ezekiel said showers of blessings. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound, not of death and defeat, but I hear a sound of extraordinary victory. I hear testimonies. Raise your hand if you're ready for a testimony. You're going to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost as I rebuke the spirit of death. 
Somebody lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost as I rebuke the spirit of death. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost as I drive out by the Holy Ghost the spirit of death. That sickness, illness will not kill you. For God is completing your miracle in this season. It doesn't matter who died from it. It shall not kill you. For where I see the blood, where I see the blood, when I see the blood, it shall pass over your house. Come on, I want to know how many of you know how to pray. If you got prayer power, come on. If you got prayer power, come on. All manner of disease, get out of this house now. Those that are watching me online, be thou made whole now. Lift your hands and shout all over this building. Lift your hands. I declare that as you step out of this year into a new year, it will be the most successful year of your life. Generational curses of habits and addiction. Every stronghold of addiction, it is broken now in the name of Jesus. As you stay under the anointing, you will live the rest of your days upon this planet Earth completely free. If you believe that scream all over this house, every man, woman, boy, and girl, I need you to release a sound for the person next to you. I want you to release a shout for the healing of your neighbor. I want you to shout for the deliverance of your daughter. I want you to shout for the freedom of your brother. I want everybody to release a sound in this house. Stop murmuring and complaining and release a sound. Stop murmuring and complaining and change your sound. Change your sound. There's a shift happening now. I said there's a shift happening right now. There's a shift that is happening in the atmosphere. There's a shift that is happening in the atmosphere right now. A supernatural shift. A supernatural shift. Many have not been able to sleep right. I want you to come to the altar quickly. You've not been able to sleep properly. Come now with your hands raised. Everybody out there, lift your hands this way and pray for those that are coming. I want to believe with you, those of you that are getting ready to go back for a follow-up report to the doctor, that the report is going to change. And let me tell you when it's going to change, right now. It's going to happen in the spirit before it shows up in the natural. It's happening now. Somebody's being healed. Somebody's breaking through every line of demonic resistance right now. Somebody's overthrowing the spirit of discouragement, fear, and depression right now. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Are my guys ready? Everybody ready? You guys ready? Let's go. In the name of Jesus, I set them free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Receive it in your spirit. Peace. All torment. All abuse, every bondage, every chip be broken off of him right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost. 
You need healing in your body. Come now. Quickly, when a man of God speaks, you move quickly. You need healing. Come now. All form of sickness and infirmity, get out of his body. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Zion. Where are you, Judah? Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody open up your mouth and give God the glory. Open up your mouth and give God the glory. He wants glory right now. Somebody give him the glory. Somebody give him the glory. Give him the glory. Completely healed now by faith. Completely healed now by faith. Set her free completely. Every tormenting demon, get out of her mind. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is the head of the church and the head of my life, I declare healing from the top of her head to the tips of her toes. Now, in the name of Jesus, we believe and we decree, therefore we receive. We believe and we decree. We believe it, we decree it, we receive it. We believe it, we decree it, and we receive it. We believe, we decree, we receive. We believe, we decree, we receive. Completely healed. Completely healed by the stripes of Christ. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dramatic improvements from this night forward. From this night forward. Incredible change. Dramatic improvements. By the power of God. Same to him. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command him to be free. In Jesus' name, if God can heal a headache, God can heal all manner of evil. God can deliver you from all forms of disease. You're in covenant with God. It is your covenant right to live healed. It is your covenant right to walk in healing every day of your life. And when you accept sickness, you compromise that covenant. Sickness, get out of my body. Arthritis, get out of my bones. Someone needs to shake it off right now. Get off of me. Get off of my life. Get out of my body. Get out of my house. Shake it off. See, some of you, you don't want to look foolish because you're more concerned about what people think than receiving your miracle. But if you really believe what I'm preaching, you need to say, you spirit of infirmity, you spirit of depression, you spirit of fear, get out of my life and you will not return ever again. Somebody dance. Somebody jump. Somebody leap. Somebody spin, somebody leap, somebody run. God is healing people now all over this room. All over this room. If you check yourself, you'll find you're totally healed. When you go to the bathroom, you'll find out where there was pain. There is no more pain. Colons are being healed. I curse colon cancer. I hate cancer with a passion. You spirit of cancer, I rebuke you. We refuse you. We've got victory over you. Shout. 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 Somebody's blood is being purified. Somebody's receiving a blood transfusion from Calvary's cross right now. Lift your hands. People of faith never accept sickness. Never, 
People of faith never accept disease. People of faith never expect defeat. They always live in victory. Lift your hands high to heaven. Here comes a wave of healing across the house. Those that are watching online, get ready. Rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I declare healed now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, be thou made whole. Depression, oppression, tormenting spirits, insanity, suicidal thoughts, go and never return in Jesus' name. You are defeated. You are destroyed. Jesus conquered you on the cross 2,000 years ago. Somebody claim your miracle right now by faith. If you believe it's done, give God a mighty shout. One more time, give God a mighty shout. Everybody lay hands on your mind. Here comes a flood of peace. Perfect peace. Isaiah said we have a right to experience perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on the Lord. Peace that surpasseth all understanding human ability and comprehension, I'll give you a supernatural peace. Peace in a storm. Peace when you're walking through a period of great pain. He'll give, he'll give, you, he'll give you peace. He'll give you peace. In the middle of chaos, he'll give you peace. In the midst of confusion, he'll give you peace. Raise your hands now. One hand on your head, the other hand in the air toward heaven. I declare peace. Perfect peace over every believer. Peace. Peace. Wonderful peace. Coming down from the Father above. Peace. Storm's been raging. But hear the word of the Lord. Perfect peace is your portion. Perfect peace is your portion. Not fear. Not torment. No longer sleepless nights. Peace. Wonderful peace. Is your portion. You will not spend the rest of your life in pain, but the Bible says you'll spend your rest of your years in prosperity, joy, health and healing. Prosperity and peace. Prosperity and peace. Receive it now by faith. Prosperity and peace. I told several people this week, stop making decisions based on needs make decisions based on God's will 
course, when you're in his will, everything works. When you're in his will, you don't have to pray for favor. You'll have favor. Right now, raise your hands. I declare you are blessed, mightily anointed, and highly favored. Blessed, super blessed, mightily anointed, and divinely favored. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree a thing, therefore it is established. If you believe as prophet, you'll prosper. Raise your hands now. I declare peace and prosperity. In the month of December, there will be nothing lacking. You will not lack or want for health. You will not lack or want for money. You will not lack or want. The Bible says, Psalm 3410, you shall not lack anything. For the young lions lack and suffer hunger. But those that seek the Lord shall not lack any beneficial thing. For the Lord is your shepherd, Psalm 23 and 1. You shall not lack. He feeds, he guides, he shields. Lift your hands. You shall want for nothing. You shall want for nothing. I see houses being released. Property being transferred. Hallelujah. Sister Benita, Sister Benita, come. I see money coming to you from property. I don't know what it's about. Nothing, I know nothing about anything. But I hear the Lord say, get ready for prosperity that is coming from properties. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Houses. 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 Deuteronomy 6 says, I'll give you houses you didn't build. Houses full of good things. Drink from wells that you didn't dig. Eat from olive trees you didn't plant. Houses, more than one. So you could bless other people that have needs. Not for yourself, for others. Blessed to be a blessing. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There's somebody here tonight. There's somebody. Actually, there's three people. You've been believing for the completion of a miracle, and I'm not talking about some little thing. You've been believing. You've been in agreement with everything that's being preached from this pulpit over the last six months, and now you're believing for the completion of your healing. I want those three people to come and stand with me right now because God is going to finish it tonight. Three of you that believe for a major healing in your body. You're going to miss it. I got one already. You're going to miss it. I don't want you to miss it. God don't want you to miss it. That's it, three. That's it, three. These three. When the spirit is moving, people, you need to learn to move. Because you can miss it. Like the man did for 38 years in John chapter 6 when the angel came down to trouble the water. He sat there, he sat there year after year for 38 years, made excuses why he wasn't healed. Spirit of God moves in this church in a supernatural way. You need to learn to move when the Spirit's moving. Stay in the flow of God. Complete healing. Speak nothing else. Complete healing. Speak nothing else. Speak nothing else. Speak nothing else. Receive nothing else. Complete healing. Everybody shout. Yeah. 
Ram Rosta Briakin Rubu Rostaya Rastanda Rabo Kor Rababaya Tai I could call you out, but I won't. Somebody here tonight, you're, you're taking medication for depression. I could call you out right over here. The Lord is setting you free permanently. I could call you out. I want you to stretch out and touch somebody on the shoulder on your left and on your right. And I want you to pray with, for them and with them with all the faith you have. Touch their shoulder on the left and on the right, on the left and on the right. If you have to go across rows to get to that person, you do it. There's something that is so significant about the power of touching and agreeing. Amazing things happen when we touch and when we agree. Amazing things happen when we touch and when we agree. Pray for that person. Yeah, Lord, yeah, y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up, hababa, sotila, bahaya. Online, get ready. Get ready online. You're coming out of this. Yeah, you're coming out. I'm talking to you right now. Pennsylvania, you're coming out. You're coming out of this. You're coming out of this. Talking to somebody in North Carolina, you're coming out of this. Somebody in Delaware, you're coming out of this. Somebody in California, you're coming out of this. Somebody watching me tonight in Hawaii, you're coming out. India, you're coming out of this. It's turning around tonight. It's turning around tonight. It's turning around tonight. Come on, pray for that person. Your miracle, their miracle depends on your participation. Your, their breakthrough depends on your cooperation. Can we pray another 30 seconds? You have authority, use it right now as you're praying for them. Use your authority. Pray the best. Pray the best. The best over them. In every area, the best. God's best, God's will. Come on, a three-strand cord is not easily broken. When two or three are gathered together in his name, there he is in the midst. He's here. He's here. He's here. Come on, come on. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. God said, whatever you allow, I allow. Why am I still battling in this area? You've allowed it. Whatever you allow, God allows. Matthew 18, 18, and 19. I pray you don't get tired if I needed a miracle. I pray in your time of need that people don't say, I'm too tired, I had a long day. Come on, another 60 seconds. Every warrior, lift your voice. Every warrior, lift your voice. We're a family. We're in it together. We believe together. We receive together. We declare the word of God together. We prosper together. We're better together, stronger together.
Come on, come on, come on. A flood of favor on every person in this room. A flood of God's favor. Necks are being healed. Knees are being healed. Throats are being healed. Arteries are being healed. Migraines are being healed. Now, if you believe it's done, throw both hands in the air and give God a mighty shout of praise. Give God the glory, everybody. Give God the glory. Give God the glory, everybody. Give God the glory. I can't move any further. Give God the glory. Give him the praise. Now lift your voice in other tongues for every unsaved loved one. Devil, you will not have a one of them. I declare for those that will believe boldly with me that by Christmas, loved ones shall be saved. Prodigals shall come home. Backslidden shall be set ablaze again. Pray. Oh, I got that kind of faith. I'm willing to pray that kind of bold kind of prayer that God's going to save family members by Christmas. For those of you that are not ashamed, you will open your mouth and tell them the truth in love. This ain't a time to fit in. This ain't a time to be intimidated. This is not a time to be silent. This is not a time to be complacent. This is not a time to be lukewarm. This is not a time to be liked. This is a time to tell the truth. Three people here and two watching online. When you go back to the doctor, they will not find the disease. Disease free. Is anybody excited about the healing power of God? Is anybody glad in Long Island? Jesus still saves. Jesus still heals. Jesus still delivers. Does anybody believe he's coming again? Then you better live like it. There's a miracle covering over you. Not from a church, from heaven. There's a miracle covering over your family. There's a miracle covering over your kids, your property, your vehicle, protection. Angels are assigned to you. Lord used us to pray somebody off of a deathbed this week. Two people, I'm sorry, not one, two people. One was a pastor. Off a deathbed, Dr. Rose. 
doctors walked in and the doctor said, we can't believe this, but you're being discharged. Healed by the power. I'm not exaggerating and I'm not making up stories. Two people completely healed by the power of God. One of the pastors was under the tent this past summer. God is a miracle working God. Lift your hands, be refreshed, strengthened, be blessed, refreshed, strengthened. You're going to sleep less. God's going to give you greater strength. He's going to give you the power to accomplish your assignment. You're going to be able to do more with less. Everything that God has called me to do, I never had the money to do it. But when I obeyed him, the provision was always there. Can't explain it. Every single project, Isaac, that the Lord ever told me to do, every instruction that a man of God ever gave me concerning my life and my ministry, I never once had the money. That's where faith comes in. See, some of you think you know what faith is. But are you willing to get out of the boat and walk on water when you got nothing to hold you up but the word of God? Peter, come. Just one word Jesus said. He didn't even say Peter. Peter just stood up and stepped out. How many are ready to walk on water this year? This coming year. Are you ready? Are you ready? How many of you are ready? How many soul winners do I have in the house? Soul winners. 2023, we will see a double harvest. 2023, we will do more around the world for the glory of God with missions, with evangelism, with crusades. Many will go to the mission field this year that have never been before. Mighty revival is sweeping the globe. A great awakening is sweeping across this nation. And I am in agreement with a friend of mine that preached last night. Preachers that won't preach the gospel, they shall be removed. God is going to remove them. Those that are lying to people are going to be removed. Be seated. They're going to be removed. People that are playing church, living in sin, are going to be removed. This is a holy place. This is a sacred desk. This is a great responsibility. Those online, be healed. Wherever you are, wherever you're listening to me, wherever you're watching right now, be healed. Whatever the time zone Whatever country you're in, the pastor that's watching right now, God's about to bless you with a brand new building. In Nigeria, brand new building. You watch, it's going to come in, the testimony of a brand new building for a preacher in Nigeria. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What a privilege. Stand in your presence. What a privilege to be alive in the greatest time for the church. This is the greatest time for the church. This is the greatest time for the church. That means you people. This is the greatest time of our life. What a privilege to be used of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody's watching that's on a transplant list. God's going to give you a miracle.
How many of you had pain in your body before the service tonight and you no longer have the pain? You no longer have the pain. Let me see your hand. You no longer have the pain. Look at all the hands that are raised. Hold them up high. This ain't some game. If you know it, that you're healed, lift your hands. How many of you want to be free from medications? You can be. Somebody said, well, I just felt, you know, I thought I'd just flush all my medicine down the toilet. When God heals you, you'll know it. And yes, I believe doctors confirm miracles and healing. I also believe God uses doctors to promote healing. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Anybody love him tonight on Long Island? Anybody still in love with Jesus? Let's worship him in our giving. Can we do that? Can we do that? If you need an envelope, lift your hands wherever you are. All the ushers will be passing envelopes out. Everyone that is texting your very best offering, do it now. Those that are watching online, thank you for tuning in tonight. I pray that you have received everything you've been expecting. Sow a seed wherever you are into the fertile soil of our life-transforming ministry. Whatever platform you're watching, give if you've been blessed. Invest in where you were blessed. Sunday, we're going to be live again, 11 a.m. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. You live anywhere on Long Island. We have a special production this Sunday on a Christmas story with all of the empowered kids. It's going to be great. So be here this Sunday, 11 o'clock. Support, support our children. Can you say amen? Go ahead and give. Everybody should be giving. Every row, every person, every believer online. Have a great night. We love you. I believe you were blessed by today's message. Olga and I would love to connect with you. If you're ever in the Long Island area, why don't you come check us out right here at the place where miracles happen, J-I-L-C. Also, come and experience the power of God in any one of our weekly services every Thursday, 7 p.m., also Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. If you have any prayer requests, we would love to hear from you. Join our faith with you and believe for a miracle and breakthrough in every area of your life. You can email your prayer request to prayer at jilc.org. Also, exciting news. What an announcement. Brand new app. We just finished it. You can download it today. Jesus is Lord Church in Holtzville. Until next time, I'm Pastor Kevin McGinnis. I am believing for your miracle.